Welcome to my channel. My name is Kara Jacka Rose. And if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. So guys, I finally got the chance to sit down and put my 2022 wish list together. And guys, this video should have been out to you guys maybe late February, first week of March. I'm a little late, but late is better than never. So here we are. But if you're interested in seeing my 2022 wish list, stick around. Okay, guys, so we have a few categories. Uh, we're going to start with bags because you know, if I don't do anything else, I am going to get me a nice luxury bag. But anyway, if you watched my 2021 luxury wish list, you would have seen that I was head over heels about the Coco Top handle. And I still haven't gotten that bag and I was telling my husband I'm going through my wish list and I'm writing everything down and I said I can't believe I still don't have this bag and he said out of all the stuff you bought last year for 2021 you could have had the, the top handle and I, he is so right I could have had the cocoa top handle um, by now but anyway I don't so that has trickled over to my 2022 luxury wish list so here we are so we're gonna kick it off with the Coco Top Handle, guys. So I am so upset that I didn't grab this bag last year because I wanted the small, um, which is now, wait, I wanted the mini, which is now the small. They have a mini out now. And back then, I think the price was $4,300. And guys, I think it went up last year to $4,600. And now we're at I think 5100 so the goal is this year to get that cocoa top handle I want a black and I went into the store and a lady was telling me um, the sales associate she said the demand for black is very high she said if you're open if you would be open to like colors or any color she's like I probably can get you one sooner than later um, but I don't know for some reason I think I want my first cocoa top handle to be black so yes guys that's what i'm shooting for like a black top handle coco and i was thinking about getting it pre-loved but after doing a little bit of research watching a few youtube videos um they were saying it's best to get your coco top handles from the store like brand new because the upsell of the coco top handle on a pre-love market is just ridiculous and i did a little research and they were right so yeah guys the cheapest i saw the bag on the pre-love market was roughly 5500 or so so i figured i mean i might as well go directly to the store and get me a brand new bag so that's where we are and then second i didn't believe that i would add another chanel to the to my list because Chanel is just crazy. We all know the prices are outrageous right now. I would love, you know, other high end, but Chanel was just on my list for the longest time, that Coco Top Handle, so I definitely have to get that. But guys, more recently, after doing like some research on the Top Handle, I came across the mini flat bag with the Top Handle y'all oh my god i couldn't believe it but i fell in love with this bag as well i'm like no you don't need to be <laughs> falling in love with another chanel with the price increases that's going on with these bags but i figured hey put it down on paper make it plain it may just happen right so who knows what my 2022 is gonna look like so i went ahead and added another um chanel bag to my list i'm gonna pop a picture up guys it's between two bags that i saw it is let's see it's light pink and light green it looks like a cotton candy type look to it it is so cute and i figured if i'm gonna go with the classic black for the coco top handle i figured i would play with the second bag which you guys know i'm loving pink right now and um yeah i figured this cotton candy light pink light 
green bag was so cute, so playful. It'll be perfect for spring, summer. Um, and I think it would just be a great addition to my collection. Also, I saw the bag in pink, which I'm going to list here as well. It's like a powder pink or a baby pink. And I really, it's called light pink though on the website. So I really, really love that bag as well. So guys, I think I'm going to actually look into purchasing that bag as well. Do I want to drop all of this money on Chanel's? Not really, but for some reason, I just can't let Chanel go. I know they're out of control. But anyway, moving right along because guys, I have, I think like six bags here. So the next bag is the Fendi, first uh, is the Can You Small. And guys, I am so in love with this bag. It is the perfect small bag. It's a, I'm looking for something to replace my um, Louis Vuitton multi pouchette. I accessoire. I carry that thing like everywhere when I'm like dressed down or running errands. And I wanted something that can replace that, but I also can dress up as well. And this Can You is perfect, guys. It is like the. Um, it's the perfect size. I love the gold hardware. It's a top handle. The structure is pretty much, you know, what I love. It is just perfect. The price point is perfect. And yeah, guys, I'm not sure if you guys um, ever um, paid attention to this bag, but it is so cute. So this is something I definitely want to add to my list. And then also the Can I. Now this one is a little bit bigger than a Can You, and the price difference is about $300. And I love the fact that, again, it's top handle, the gold hardware, um, it's two-tone, it has the black leather at the bottom, the Fendi logo at the top. It's a top handle. Again, I love the structure. This one has a little bit more room. I feel like this is more like an everyday bag. If I'm going back to the office, or, you know, it's just a really, really, really beautiful bag. And again, it's something that I can alternate between the, the small and the and this one. I'm just in love with it, guys. Like, I don't know. I just think it's a great everyday bag. And yeah, I wanted to add that one to my list as well. And then also, I was looking into getting the, the Fendi Baguette. But I don't know, I just, it's something about the bag that I'm just like, mm, do I want it? But I actually saw on the website when I was looking at the baguette, I saw the, the chain midi baguette in, this, in the leather. And guys, when I saw that, I was like, oh, see, we, I can do that because I don't know, like I love the baguette. I do eventually want to get one, but it's not at the top of my list. It's not a priority. But this light gray leather Fendi baguette, y'all, it is so cute. I think it's a perfect spring, summer bag. I think it's good for every day. I think you can, you know, dress it up, dress it down. I love the fact, again, that it has the gold hardware. I love the leather strap. It is super cute. I mean, I'm in love with it. The price point is definitely a little bit higher than the other two. This one is coming at 3100 which I probably would put this one at the bottom of the list because, again, the priority is Chanel. Then after Chanel, I can play. But I probably would get one of the other two first or both first before I would get this one. But I thought this was such a cute bag. Like, So the next bags on my list is the Gucci Bamboo 1947 Top Handle Bags. Guys, I was on the website looking for some accessories and I stumbled across these bags and I'm like, you know what, you do not need another Gucci bag, but I decided to go ahead and add it to the list. I'm like, who knows, let's just put it on a wish list. Two bags stood out to me, the color pink and then the color brown. Both of those bags are gorgeous. Like I like, I love all the colors. They had baby blue. Um, what else they had? They had like the Jumbo Gigi um, version. It was just so many different versions of it, but the pink and the brown stood out to me. And guys, I was like, you know what? Let me add this to my wish list. Who knows? We never know, right? So, and I love the fact it comes with the um, guitar strap. And I also love that it comes with the leather strap. 
Um, the shape of the bag is definitely something that I would love to entertain for 2022. I'm more so into the structured square shape bags, but this one with the rounded off bottom is so cool, it's so cute. It reminds me of the uh, Prada Clio, but when I actually saw the Clio, it had like that oval shape, um, but it was very thin. But I love the fact that Gucci has that like oval shape to it or whatever it looks super cool i haven't seen it in person i would love to go to the store and like really look at it look at the inside see how gloomy it is in the inside but just from looking on the website i'm like this is a great addition so let me add it to the list so i have added those two to the list well that one to the list i have to just choose which color i want so yeah and I think that's it for the bags, guys. Let's see. We got a Fendi Ken Ike, Fendi Ken U. We had the Fendi Baguette, the Gucci, the Chanel Mini Flap, and the, the Coco Top Handle. So, yes, those are it for my bags for 2022. Let's move on to travel. Guys, I cannot wait to travel. I have literally been dreaming about traveling for years now and I was this close to traveling for my anniversary last year it just didn't work out so I'm definitely definitely looking forward to travel this year God willing but anyway um yeah I want some new luggage like I haven't bought luggage in so long and what I have it works um I'm not really I have never really invested in like luxury luggage but I think I want to try out some luxury luggage and I was looking at um is it room up how, how do you pronounce it re, re, I think it's Rimawa or Rimawa if I'm jacking it up I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up here but guys I was on the website looking at the luggage they have I think three to four different versions they have like the original line and then they have like a lightweight line and I fell in love with one the structure of the suitcase to the different colors that they have for the I think the lightweight and they have um, a carry-on which they call I think the cabin version and then they have a check-in version so yeah it's like a, a set so I'm interested in adding that I was interested in that so I'm like you know what let me add it to the list and let's see so yeah and it has such fun colors there's about I think four colors that stood out to me which is red super cute i was so 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 in love with the red um they had two versions of the red too i think one was a fire red and one was just i guess a cherry red and then they had this gray which was so beautiful as well then of course black is always classic always chic i love that then they had a white the white was really awesome as well however i'm like white and luggage but i figured hey if i got the carry-on I'm going to be controlling the fate of the carry-on so I really did add that color that colorway to the list as well so I'm trying to choose between the four if the opportunity comes for me to purchase this particular luggage I probably would get the carry-on first or if I'm able to both but if I got just a carry-on white would definitely be a contender between the white the gray and the red I think I would like to play with the colors or whatever and that is it for travel and then we have ready to wear y'all ready to wear oh my god these luxury brands have been killing it with the ready to wear and i know i've spoke about this on my channel for so long how i'm so like i invest in my accessories i invest in my um shoes and my bags but not too much in my clothes i will splurge a little bit every now and again on certain um ready to wear pieces from luxury brands but for the most part i stick with my affordable fashions but y'all for 2022 i have quite a few pieces on my luxury wish list and i have my notebook down here y'all that's why i'm constantly looking down and i also have my phone so yeah pardon me because i know i'm just looking down but anyway yeah so the first thing was on the list is burberry y'all burberry have been doing their thing with their ready to wear and um 
yeah they have this new like birch brown and i'm just in love with it i feel like burberry is classic burberry is so effortless so chic it is a little loud however that was one of those um brands or logos where i think it just gets a pass it's not too obnoxious for but anyway i never really fell in love with burberry because it was something about just that khaki and the red and the black it just didn't pull me in well girl i went to the mall i think in january went to the burberry store and oh my god i fell in love with the their birch brown like products like i don't know what it was i saw the turtleneck i saw let's see what else did i see in a store um they had a cardigan they had um espadrilles they had so many things in this birch brown and i'm like you know what I, I think I'm gonna entertain some Burberry this year. So I added a piece, a few pieces to the list, which was a turtleneck and also these check cotton slides. And I was like, oh, the, the slides are a little bit different. Y'all know I love me a good slide, right? Because I will rock a slide like it's a shoe in the summertime and in the springtime. But the check cotton slides, they had this sole that I had never seen before. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go in the store and look at these slides or whatever. So they didn't have them in the store. I, oh, I'm about to tell on myself. That's another video. But anyway, yeah. So these, I'm gonna put a picture up. I'm sure I already have the picture up, but yeah, guys, their check cotton slides are the truth. I just can't wait to cross those off my list. And then what's the famous line? What Jay-Z say? You only wear Burberry to swim? Well, y'all, they're swimwear. Oh my God. And lead into the theme of me going on vacation. <sighs> so cute. And they have this birch brown. They have this baby blue that is so freaking cute. So it is definitely on my list. It's called the check swimsuit. They have the bikinis and they have um, the full on swimsuit. And y'all know this this kangaroo pouch this fupa whatever you want to call it cannot do a bikini but for you girls that can do the bikinis take a look at these bikinis they are so cute but if you're like me and you can't quite rock that yet or ever take a look at those swimsuits they are so cute but anyway i have the it's called pale blue i have the pale blue on my list so i didn't want to overkill with the birch what it's called birch brown yeah i didn't want to overkill with the birch brown but guys the swimsuit is amazing of course i'm going to have it up on the screen and then moving right along fendi we're back to fendi y'all i have been loving fendi fendi has been killing it and i never wanted to invest in luxury like ready wear until i lost weight right with the quarantine and the COVID and all that lost weight was not a thing girl I gained weight and I gained a ton of it so losing weight is just it's gonna be like a ongoing thing which is not gonna happen overnight so I'm like who knows if I'm gonna live to see tomorrow next year so let's live a little right so with that being said I want the friend the Fendi Brown twill shirt I'm gonna post a picture and the Fendi Brown twill pants and what I love about this set it is I want to say size friendly or size inclusive I was so surprised at the sizes they went up to so I was like oh okay so these are size inclusive let me go ahead and add it to the list now these two products are definitely pricey but listen I had to add them to the list because I feel like they are effortless they are chic and they will they are like how can I say it they'll be forever like a piece of your wardrobe that you can just wear 10 to 15 years down the line and next I did see the Fendi swimsuit as well it was so cute I love the um, black trim and the way the dip in the back was I'm going to post a picture up here as well I love that swimsuit as well again hoping I can get away however that I was gonna buy when I went to the mall but they didn't have any in the store when I looked online they don't have my size online so hopefully fingers crossed 
it comes back in stock in my size if it does y'all i'm checking that off like right away because and that and also with the um the uh, burberry um swimsuit those two i'm gonna check off the list right away i already know that and then i think that's it for fendi and lastly for ready wear y'all the prada re nylon shorts and top omg like i saw the girls last year killing it i saw the girls with the black ones killing it y'all but this year they have a red they have um i think like a baby blue i'm gonna post it up here i love the red bamboo or bandeau top with the red nylon that would be so cute with like a linen top on top for summer for spring for vacation same thing with the blue you can throw your linen tops on top i feel like you could wear each piece in different ways i would never wear it all by itself because of you know my size but oh the way i would style these two pieces up again i don't know what colors i would choose probably the red over the blue but i put both on the list however i would have to choose between the one um they are kind of size inclusive i think the highest they went up to was a 14 which is pretty friendly for me far as a short is concerned so i think i would be able to do that um but yeah guys those are those are on my wish list the um the re nylon top and shorts and lastly guys um on my list is jewelry i saw a few pieces from the or but I don't want to add those to the list because I know I'll probably pick a piece up sooner than later. Um, however, I have fell into the trap, guys. I've seen all of my faves talk about VCA. And I'm like, no, Kira, do not look at VCA. You do not need anything from VCA. Y'all, I figured... You know what? We're not going to entertain VCA. We're going to leave jewelry alone. We're just going to stick to the little Dior pieces you're going to get. That's it. Y'all, I was watching Tamara. Tamara, I think she pronounced her name. Tamara. Tamara Kalenic. Yeah. Tamara Kalenic. I'll put her name up somewhere on the screen. I'm sure all my fashion girls probably watch her already. Y'all, she had on a VCA necklace and it was i want to say red i mean that's what it looks like to me it's red so i'm like hold on let's go to the website let's look at this because i've been seeing all the different colors but i've never seen red so i'm like let me go to the website let's take a look at it so y'all i couldn't control myself i went to the website and i saw the necklace and the bracelet now there's different types of bracelets and there's different necklaces i was looking at the i'm gonna post a picture here up on the screen so the actual color of the i think it's called sweet alejandre bracelet it is just one of the cleafs which is perfect for me i don't want the five clover i don't want anything extensive i just like simple and a statement with just simplicity so the single cleaf was perfect i'm like okay we can do this so i added that to my list and also the actual pendant the single pendant um i added that to my list as well i'll add it up on the um, screen here guys i tried not to fall into the van cleef arpel rabbit hole i fell into the hole so that is now on the list and prayerfully i'll be able to add that because guys i'm in love with this like y'all know my favorite color is red and i was like that would be a perfect addition to my jewelry collection so fingers crossed we can make that happen um again i like the simplicity of just the single um leaf so yeah so that is it guys that concludes my video if you made it to the end and you like the vibes please consider subscribing if you are not following me on instagram please go ahead and follow me over there on that platform my instagram handle is here it's kira dagger rose um if you are following me and you don't have your notification 
bell on go ahead and click your notification bell so you will be notified when i upload my next video so that concludes the video until next time see you roses later peace so